name's Debbie Lash and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's class is going to be 60 minutes and it's for all levels. I'm going to offer lots of different modifications depending on where you are in your practice. So you can either take the more advanced route or you can take it down. So there's something for everyone. I always like to open my classes with pranayama, breath work. And we're going to open today with Nadi Shona. It's alternate nostril breathing and it balances the left and right side of the brain, the masculine and the feminine energy. What I really like about it is that it takes you out of your thinking mind and drops you into your feeling mind. So all you're really focusing on is the breath coming into the body and leaving the body. So it really is working as a form of meditation. So let's get started. Sit up nice and tall. I always like to sit on a block so my knees are in line with my hips, but if you don't have a block, you can sit on a pillow or a, uh, a blanket, maybe even a book, whatever you've got available in your home. Bring the right hand alongside the face. You're going to take your peace fingers and bend them down. If you're new to this, sometimes it feels a little uh, funky, a little awkward, so just, uh, just go with it. Bring your right thumb over the right nostril and your ring finger over the left and just gently close the eyes down take a moment just to notice how you feel with your eyes closed down take an inhale through both nostrils close off the right nostril exhale through the left inhale through left pause and hold switch exhale right Inhale right, pause at the top, exhale left, inhale left, close off the left, exhale right, inhale right, pause and switch, exhale left, inhale left. Close off the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Pause and switch, exhale left. Inhale left. Pause and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Pause and switch, exhale left. Let's do one more full cycle together. Inhale left. Close off the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Pause and switch, exhale left. Bring hands together at the heart center, bowing chin to chest. If you'd like to bring an intention for your practice or Maybe even calling in something for the beginning of the week. And if you don't know what to ask for, I always begin with asking that my body is open and my mind is clear. And you can add anything to that. Inhale, open the eyes. Lift the gaze. Okay, yogis. Just bring in any blocks, put them at the top of the mat. And we're going to start lying all the way down and take a full body stretch, arms up and over the head. Roll the inner thighs down, point the toes, take a deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Good. Change the hook of the thumb so the other thumb's on top. Inhale, lift, just squeezing the biceps into the ears, pressing the front ribs down, rolling the inner thighs, big breath. Exhale all the air out. Bring the hands down alongside the body and knees over the hips. You can maybe just start circling the knees. Either hands on the knees or you can keep the hands on the floor. Just nice big circles. And then reverse it, unwind it. Pause here. Take a twist, neutralize the spine. Inhale, drop knees over to the left. Look to the right. Good. 
that's it. And just breathing, you're spinning these top ribs back to the right. Make sure your fingers are spread and activated, pressing the knuckles down into the floor. Inhale here. And roll that right shoulder down and away from the air. Exhale. Inhale, lift the knees to center. And then just drop the knees over to the right. I like to snuggle my knees up towards the elbow or my armpit and then look back to the left. Couple of cycles of breath. Inhale, come back to center. Take both legs up into the air and thumbs underneath the buttock flesh if you're needing a little bit more support. That's it, roll the inner thighs away from the chest and flex and point the feet, point flex. That's it, and I like to circle the ankles and get into all the joints, fingers, ankles, toes, knuckles, that's it. And open and close the toes. Some people find this really challenging, just trying to spread the toes. That's it. Happy baby, draw the knees down towards the armpits. Elbows on the inside, grab the outsides of the feet. I like to put a little rock side to side. This is a really nice hip opener. And also, it feels, it's the same shape as Barkasana Crow Pose. Just make sure your ankles are in line with the knees and now press the feet up towards the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale here. Three more cycles of breath, just like this. It's a real sense of you're pressing the back ribs down into the floor to press and kick up through the heels and the mound of the toes. Arms are straight, shoulders are rolling down and there's space between the shoulders and your ears. Good, one more cycle of breath, inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna bring both hands inside the thighs. Inhale with the head on the floor, we're just gonna to connect to some core, inhale. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Last one, we're gonna lift up, hold up, and just stay here. Little pulses, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lower, take the legs up, and then just open the legs into V-shape. Five cycles of breath. That's it, and again, you might wanna circle the ankles, any amount. And keep pressing your forearms into the inside thighs. And if your hamstrings are tight, just keep the knees bent. Always be really kind to your body. Never um, pushing or going over the kind of limitations that you can feel. Remember that pain is an indication that your body doesn't like it. So always kind of move away from the pose if you're feeling any kind of electrical pain. And inhale, draw the knees to, uh, inner knees and ankles together. And we're going to roll all the way onto our belly. That's it. Sphinx pose. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Good. And energetically, it feels like you're dragging your hips up towards your elbows. Walk the inner ankles together to touch. We're going to now come into a little bit more core work. Keep pressing down through the tops of the feet and all 10 toenails. And now inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Now you can lower all the way to the floor. Or if you've got a lot more determination, you're just going to have the thighs hovering. It's a lot more challenging. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, two more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Last one here, inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Inhale, come back into Sphinx Pose. Some of you are gonna stay here, some of you are gonna lift up on the forearms. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, lower. And just notice the mobility of your head, your neck by turning to the right. Is there any tightness, stiffness? Come back to center. Inhale, look to the left. Exhale, center. Good, lower all the way down. Gonna warm up your upper back. Um, low cobra. Uh, wrists are underneath your elbows. Squeeze the elbows in, forehead to the floor. Inhale, lift. 
exhale lower good inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower inhale we're going to come up into cat pose inhale just stay here child's pose big toes touch exhale good listen carefully inhale cat lower down chin chest see how my booty's up slide through low cobra inhale exhale lower cat pose inhale round lift the back ribs exhale child good inhale cat lower down chin chest slide through low cobra inhale lift exhale lower just takes a minute you got to think about it inhale cat exhale child's pose last round inhale cat lower down chin chest slide through low cobra inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift up cat downward facing dog i want you to think of down dog as an extension of cat pose all that straightens is those legs the hamstrings open good so just stay here not the head inhale turn the head exhale good pick your right foot up and cross it over your left thigh flex the foot three cycles of breath look towards your left foot now inhale high tippy toes exhale lower good two more inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower float that right leg straight back bend the knee open the hip circle the ankle lovely hip opener good inhale square the hip knee to nose round glide forward good two more inhale float the leg back knee to nose round shoulders beyond the wrist last one here knee to nose round step the foot between the hand some of you are going to drop the back knee down others are going to keep it up keep the left hand down right arm up take a twist good arm up and over moving forwards and backwards squeeze your buttocks together here notice how the back ribs lift up inhale top arm up exhale hand right hand on the inside some of you are going to grab a block if you've got one others maybe bring your hand onto the ankle or a book top arm up extended side angle pose i love this pose probably one of my most favorite poses and now work the pose from the heel put the press the heel reach through the fingertips now find cat pose draw the ribs in and back three cycles of breath and you're squ i'm squeezing my right buttock in that's it notice your jaw often when the hips are tight you're clenching the teeth pressing the tongue into the roof of the mouth so just observe inhale top arm up exhale hand down half splits ada hanumanasana release the back toes and then roll the hips back flex your right foot inhale lift exhale forward fold and bow three cycles of breath some of you are going to stay right here because this is already a lot of work others who have got more hamstring mobility are going to drop the heel to the buttock good now chin to chest lift the back ribs up and squeeze the outer hips in two more cycles of breath wherever you are that's it ujjayi breath is the breath of the practice inhale bend the front knee hands to the floor tuck the back toe step back plank good center the right hand into the middle drop the heels over to the right vashi star so you can stagger the feet or if you already stack the feet good press down arm up and over the ear again draw the ribs and imagine you are zipping yourself up through the middle of the body beautiful one more cycle of breath so this is strengthening the side waist your back and front body lower all the way to the floor low cobra drag the hands back inhale lift exhale lower good two more inhale lift so this is warming your upper back exhale lower. keep squeezing the elbows in spreading the toes good tuck the toes under press up plank pose inhale exhale down dog and if you need to keep your knees on the floor for that transition then no problem good now crossing the right ankle over the 
uh, sorry, the left ankle over the right thigh. Flex the foot and draw that left knee wide. Look to the right heel. Inhale, come high, tippy toe. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Float that left leg straight back. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Circle the ankle. This is a delicious hip opener. How are you doing? How's the breath feeling in the body? Most important part of the practice. Square the hip. Straighten the leg. Inhale here. Glide forward, exhale, knee to nose. Two more, inhale. Some of you might even be able to touch the knee to the nose. Maybe it's a work in progress. And then step the foot all the way through. Some of you are dropping the back knee down. Others are keeping it up. Take the twist, arm up and over. Now squeeze your hips in together, slide into that front knee. And then just make sure the knee over the ankle, and I like to rock forwards and backwards, just coming into the toes of the back foot. Good, one more cycle of breath, and top arm up. You're gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn my back towards you. Hand can either grab the ankle to the floor or grab the block, inhale, lift. Arm up and over. I like to pick the back heel up, press it back, Draw my ribs and watch them lift. Three cycles of breath. Some of you might like to roll the chin into the right armpit. Others, if you've got pain in the neck, just look straight down at the grounded foot. Good. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, hand to the floor. Drop the back knee down. Half split. Roll. Flex the left foot. I like to drive that left pinky toe back towards the hip. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tiptoe fingers forward. Some of you are here. Some of you have already probably dropped that back, but it to the back heel. I like to come up onto cupcake fingers. It helps me lift my forearms up and away from the floor. Squeeze the other hips in. Lift the back ribs up. Breathe in. Exhale and creating space in the body on the exhale. One more cycle of breath wherever you are. Inhale, bend the front knee. Getting ready for Bashi Stars in a side plank. Tuck the back toe, plant the hands, step back. Good. Now step the left hand into the middle. I like to stagger the feet first. Some of you are going to stay here. Inhale, peel up. Some of you are going to stack the feet. Arm up and over, and if this feels too much, remember you can drop that bottom knee down and modify wherever you need to. Good, three cycles of breath. Thinking about lifting the bottom hip up and drawing the front ribs in, zipping up. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, hand down. Three low cobras. Lowering down if you need to drop the knees. Remember you can do that. Squeeze the elbows and inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Hopefully you've got a nice little playlist playing. I've got lots of music on Spotify that you have access to. Tuck the toes under. Press up plank pose. Remember, knees can stay on the floor. Downward facing dog. Good. Three cycles of breath. Have a look at your hands. Spread your fingers. Press the knuckles down. And then think of your cat pose. Lift the back ribs up. Look to the feet, spread the feet, make sure they're hips distance. Inhale, high tippy toes. Bend the knees. And we're gonna tiptoe one foot in front of the other. Maybe you're gonna come up onto the fingertips. Hands on the shins, half lift, Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Two more, just like this. Inhale, half lift, roll the inner thigh, slight bend in the knees, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Cross your right hand to your left ankle. Bend the right knee. And there's a nice little twist. Lift the back ribs up. Start to stare and press your head back. Imagine you were pressing it back into a wall. Squeeze the buttocks together. Inhale here. And exhale, lower. Just swap sides. Left hand to right ankle or the shin. Nice little bend into the left knee. Inhale, lift. Now lift those back ribs up. Press the crown of the head away from the tailbone. And find a single point on the ceiling or the shoulder, your thumb. Exhale, lower. 
Keep the hands heavy and we're just rolling up. Just every vertebrae releasing. Roll the shoulders down, inhale both arms up. Put the thumbs together, inhale, lift. Step the feet together, big toes touch. Inhale, high tippy toes. House of balance, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Squeeze the inner ankles, exhale, lower. Hands to heart. Surya Namaskara A, both arms up, breathe in, inhale. Forward fold and bow, exhale. Slight bend in the knees, half lift, Ardha Uttadasana. Step back into plank. Good, some of you might want to drop the knees here, lower down, Chaturanga. Some of you are gonna play with low cobra, some of you are ready for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath here, wherever you are. I really count the breath. And this helps bring you into the meditation of the pose, gets you out of your thinking mind and into the feeling mind. Good, inhale, high tippy toes. Bend the knees, two steps to the top. Hands on the shins, lift up halfway, Ardha. Exhale, forward fold. Press down through the feet, inhale, rise. And then there's an option for a back bend, exhale. Inhale, lift. No stopping, forward fold and bow. Surya Namaskara A, half lift. Remember you can stay with low cobra or up dog. I like to shift the weight forward, lower halfway. Roll over the toes, lift the knees, lift the thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. And again, work the pose from the floor up. So spread the hands, press. Energetically, it feels like you're pressing the mat forward and away with the hands. Spread the toes. Have a look, make sure your heels are hiding behind the big toes. Inhale, high tippy toes. Are you ready to jump to the top? Of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Maybe you're still walking or stepping. Forward fold and bow. Press down. Option for your back bend. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Last round, forward fold and bow. We're going to move from downward facing dog. Remember, you can skip vinyasas, take child's pose whenever you need it through the practice. Inhale, float the right leg straight back. Right knee, right elbow, glide forward and hold. Lift it up higher. Good, hold it, building strength. Inhale, three-legged dog. Now cross to the right knee to the left elbow. Hold, lift. There's your cat pose in the upper back. Three-legged dog, inhale. Knee to nose round, step it through. Put a bend into the back knee. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale here. Good. I like to hook the thumbs, squeeze your buttocks together. We're going to drop the back knee down. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Start to straighten the back leg. Now you're just going to put the back foot down, and I like to walk the right foot over. Warrior one. Inhale, lift up. Reach your right arm forward. Sorry, your left arm forward. Like you want to shake my hand. And we're just trying to draw these left ribs forward. Notice the top hand lifting. Lift those ribs up. Inhale. Exhale here. Sink into the front thigh. Activate the back leg. Inhale, float the left arm up. Hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge forward. Just start by resting the ribs on the thighs. Good. Press the crown of the head as you simultaneously draw the hands behind you. Squeeze the outer hips in. Inhale here. Exhale here. Oh, I've got a little click in my shoulder there. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift the back heel up. Three-legged dog, inhale. This is an option. Three-legged plank, lower down, roll over the toes. Up and back, downward facing dog. Good, other side. Inhale, float the left leg straight back. Left knee, left elbow. Now lift it up. 
Inhale through leather dog. Same thing, cross it to the right. There's your twist. Now lift. Find cat pose in the upper back. Inhale through leather dog. Knee to nose round. Step it through. High lunge. Bend in the back knee. Now squeeze the buttocks, lift the back ribs up. Inhale, lift. Hook the thumbs the abnormal way. And exhale, we're going to lower the knee almost to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Three more. Keep drawing the belly in. Ribs are zipping in. It's like you're zipping yourself up all the way from the pubis bone to the top of the um, throat. Good. Pause here. Walk the back leg straight. Now drop the back heel down. Warrior one. Maybe walk your left foot to the left. Inhale here. Reaching the right arm forward. Now reach and lift. Draw the ribs in. Activate the back leg. Find the back heel. Pinky toe of the back foot. Inhale. Float the right arm up. Hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders. Inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale, hinge forward. We're just going to stay right here. Now look down at the toe, pressing your hands back, crown of the head forward. Lift the back heel up off the floor. This is a form of a power lunge. One more cycle of breath. Start to lift the ribs off the thigh. Good. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog. This is an option. You can skip it. Float it back. Three-legged plank, roll over the toes up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath here, wherever you are. Maybe you feel like you need child's pose. So please honor that, honor your body and really try and notice when you're pushing yourself and it feels unhealthy and this is the ego mind kind of leading. Inhale, high tippy toes. Bend the knees, step, walk or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your fingers on the floor. Bend the knees and now shift the weight into the heels until your toes physically lift off the floor. Puff the back ribs up. Inhale, peel the arms up. Stay right here. Shoulders roll down. Chair pose. Three cycles of breath. Draw the ribs in. Squeeze your buttocks together. Sweep the pinky fingers in towards each other. Keep drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale here. Stand all the way up. Maybe a back bend. Inhale, lift. Hands to heart. Good. Syria B. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Chair pose. Forward fold and bow. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Step back into plank. Maybe you can stay with low cobra. Shift the weight forward. Halfway, squeeze those elbows in, lift up, downward facing dog, warrior one, step the right foot forward, squeeze that right buttock in, inhale, lift, exhale, hands to the floor, step back, vinyasa or go straight to down dog, you choose, this is your practice, good, left foot forward, back heel down, inhale, lift, Exhale, hands to the floor. Vinyasa. So we're bringing a bit more heat and strength into the practice. Three cycles of breath wherever you are. Just count it. Remember, you can take child's pose here if that's what you need. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Now, if you need to cool the body, just exhale through the mouth. Inhale, high tippy toes. Bend the knees. Step, walk or jump. To the top, half lift, breathe in, forward fold and bow, chair pose. Okay, I like to keep the fingers down, lift up, stand all the way up, exhale, back bend, hands to heart. Remember the back bends is always an option. One more time, chair pose, forward fold and bow, inhale, half lift, step or jump back into plank. Lower halfway, roll over the toes, up and back. Step that right foot forward. Try not to float that leg back. Squeeze the right hip in. Inhale, lift. Hands to the floor. Vinyasa. Good. Left foot forward. 
back heel down, squeeze the left buttock in, hands up, lift up, look up. So if I'm going faster, don't worry about it, just go at your own pace. Three cycles of breath here. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. Walk the hands back towards the feet. We're going to stay in a forward fold and bow. My feet are hips distance. Take those peace fingers, wrap them around the big toes. Bend your knees, snuggle the ribs onto the thighs and drop the head. The head, gravity is your best friend here. Inhale. And then look up to the thighs. Exhale. If you want to work a little harder into the pose, start to lift the knees and the thighs up. Good, think about breathing into your beautiful back body, back ribs, back of the heart, your sacrum, your back waist, your kidneys. Good, one more cycle of breath here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on the hips, squeeze the elbow heads in and just inhale, rise and lifting yourself all the way up. Good, pick your right knee up. And just stay right here. So roll the shoulders down. Imagine you're leaning against the wall. So the shoulder heads press back, the back of the head presses back. Turn the foot to the right, and then cross your right ankle over your knee. Same as what uh, we were when we were in down dog. Good, inhale here. Exhale, hands to heart. Think of chair pose here. We're gonna bend the knee, and then sink the hips. Figure four. Notice how the body wants to lean forward. I want you to shift your weight into the heel of the foot. Even though the big toes stay down, but shift the weight. Inhale, lift the back ribs up. Exhale, sink lower. And now lift the shoulder heads like low cobra. Good, two cycles of breath here. Squeezing your outer hips in. Flex the foot, pressing the ankle down onto the thigh. Good, one more cycle of breath. Inhale, we're going to lift ourselves all the way up. Inhale, float the right knee up. Take the knee wide, grab the ankle, tree pose. Firm the outer hip in. Hands at heart. Good, inhale, lift the chest. Some of you are going to stay right here. If you feel like you're falling in and out of balance, you can bring ankle to ankle, sole of the foot to the calf, or sole to the inner thigh, upper inner thigh. Good, inhale, float the prayer up. So only when we're rooted and grounded into the floor do we open our branches wide. Think of your arms as the branches of your tree. Good, hands to heart. Inhale, steer the right knee forward and extend. Maybe you're just gonna keep the knee bent. Inhale, lift both arms up, squeeze your buttocks, squeeze the outer hips in, lift up, look up. Step forward, toppling tree, hands to heart. I like to keep the back foot down here. Halfway, I've hinged at the hips, squeezing the outer hips in. Float the back leg up. Some of you will be dropping your hands to the floor, rolling that left outer hip down. Others are gonna bring the hands to heart. Maybe some of you are gonna press and reach the hands forward. Good, lift that back heel, activate the back foot. Think about cat pose, lift the front ribs to the back. One more cycle of breath, inhale. Both hands to the floor. Maybe you're gonna bend the knee here. Wrap the right hand behind, and then forehead towards the shin. Standing split. Inhale here, release the back of the neck. Notice if you're looking forward, look all the way back, and then activate that back leg. Inhale here. Exhale, step the feet together. Inhale, lift the feet up. Slide your hands underneath. Palms are facing up. Inhale, half lift. Put a bend into the knees. Exhale, forward fold and bow. Stay right where you are. Again, rest the ribs on the thighs. Make sure your big toes are meeting the creases of the wrist. So a lot of you will generously have to bend the knees. That's it, how's the breath? Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. 
Inhale, lift up halfway, step off the hands. And you're just going to roll and unravel the spine, coming all the way up. Roll the shoulders down, standing on your right foot, hands on the hips, float the left leg up. Stay right here, flex the foot, turn the foot to the left, and now you're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Just make sure the foot doesn't shift, draw the knee wide, hands at heart. Maybe you're staying upright. Most of us are gonna bend the knee. Think of this as like a one-legged chair, as though uh, chair pose wasn't hard enough on two feet, so now we're on one. So this is a really nice hip opener. Inhale, lift the chest, puff the back ribs up, sink lower. This eventually turns into an arm balance, but we're not going there today. Good, one more cycle of breath. Squeeze your buttocks together, keep lifting the back ribs. Inhale, standing all the way up, lift the knee, tree pose. So remember, you can do ankle to ankle, ankle to calf, or heel into the, up into the inner thigh. And you're really using that hip stabilizer, press the heels of the hands together, and a whisper of a bend into the standing knee. Good, inhale, float the prayer up. Exhale, open the arms wide. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, draw the knee back to center, left knee to center. Extend the legs straight. Maybe you're gonna keep the knee bent. Inhale, lift up, look up. Imagine someone's lifting you by your fingertips. Toppling trees, step forward. Hinge forward, keep a bend into that front knee. Float the right leg up. Now, think about the alignment, crown of the head pressing forward, bottom ribs lift, press through the back heel. Some of you are reaching the arms forward. Remember, if you've got your block, you can use your block. You can keep the hands down. Good, one more cycle of breath here. Standing splits, both hands to the floor. Left hand behind the left ankle, and now lift up. Good, point the toe. Drop the head, forehead towards the shin. Inhale here. Exhale here. One more cycle of breath. And step the feet together. Malasana, feet as wide as the mat. Cupcake fingers, bend the knees. Inhale here, hands to heart. If you're looking to work on the bind, I like to bring both hands Arms inside the knees. Now lift the chest up. How's the breath? What's going on in your mind? What are you thinking about? Hopefully all the thoughts that come up and go, especially about yourself, are positive, coming from a place of love and compassion. Good. Some of us are going to stay here in Malasana. Some of us are going to play with crow pose, Barkasana. So if you are new to Barkasana, I like, often like to stand on a block. Bring the toes, make sure the big toes are on the block. So giving this, um, the block gives you height. So you're able to bring the knees into the armpits. Spread the fingers. Rock forward, look how my elbows are over the wrists. Puff, puff, puff the back ribs up, press the crown of the head. Maybe you're gonna lift one heel to the buttock and take the other one there. Stay right there, a little gripping in the fingertips. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. Some of you might be able to shoot back into and take a vinyasa. Others are going to come down. Step into downward facing dog. Do you want the vinyasa? I'm going to take it because I like to flush the poses through the body. Step the right foot forward and parallel the feet. Hands on the hips. Squeeze your elbow heads in. Inhale, lift all the way up. Pasarita Paratanasana. Good, squeeze the elbows, arms wide. Now rotate the palms back, clasp the hands together behind the sacrum, roll the shoulders, inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge forward, halfway. Now just look down. Have a look at your toes, respread the toes. Reach the hands back, forward fold and bow. 
This is another one of my favorite poses. Really great hamstring opener, hip opener, and just nod the head. Gravity is your best friend in this pose. Some of you might do really well to bend the knees. How's the breath? Find cat pose, lift those back ribs up. Keep looking to up towards the thigh, so the back of the neck is long. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop the hands. Skandasana, if you take my classes, you'll know, or you'll soon know that this is one of my favorite poses. Just bend into the right knee and flex the left foot. This is a really deep hip opener, so for a lot of people, when they're um, new to this pose, that heel is lifted. So don't worry if it is, it'll come down over time. Some of you might already be in a half bind. Or maybe bring the hands to prayer, hands on the floor, whatever, uh, wherever your body is today. Sometimes I take the full bind, sometimes I don't. Good, just play with pointing and flexing the foot. Notice how it moves into the groin and the inside seam, and then we'll just swap sides. Again, point and flex, bind, half bind, wherever you're at. Three more cycles of breath, just like this. Good, inhale, lift, come back. Good, inhale, just turn back to the top of the mat. Exhale, step back into plank. Good, lower halfway down, pause, and roll all the way down. That's it. Come up onto the forearms into four uh, into Sphinx pose first. Inhale, lift the chest. So we were here right at the beginning of class. Good. Take your left hand over to meet your right hand. So it's just on an angle. Put a bend into your left uh, into your right knee. Inhale, windmill the arm back and catch the foot, pressing the heel to the buttock. So we've got options here. Just notice how the chest sinks down. So you press through the forearm to lift the chest up. So sphinx pose in the chest. Heel pressing towards the buttock. Some of you might even be able to lift that forearm up. A lot of shoulder strength there. Inhaling, how's the breath? And you're pointing the left toe, lifting the knee, lifting the thigh. And exhale, lower down. Good, other side, cross the Right arm over to the left, bend the left knee. Maybe you're just staying right here, just lifting up. Maybe you can't reach the foot, so you can maybe put a strap or a towel around, press the heel to the buttock. I like to spin my fingers forward. There's a lot of shoulder, you need to be pretty open in the shoulder. Inhale, lift the chest. Notice if you're collapsing. Ready to press down to lift up, and you're looking straight ahead. Some of you can work by pressing the forefinger thumb down, Lifting the forearm up and away from the floor. Good, one more cycle of breath right where you are. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Good, we're gonna low, roll all the way onto our back for some core work. Good, both feet up in the air. If you need to, you can bend the knees. That's it. And then you're gonna bring hands up, release the forefingers, both hands on the outside of the right thigh. Lift that right shoulder higher. Inhale, lower the left leg down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Only three more this side. And remember, if you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. Good. And last one. Lift up. And then other side, both hands. On the outside of the left thigh, lift the left shoulder higher, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Look up towards that big toe, exhale, lift. Only three more. And the breath work is really important. Inhale, and then exhale. We're always squeezing the breath out of the body on the exhale. Last one. Good, release, put the feet on the floor. Cross that right ankle, turn the foot to the right, over the left thigh, hands behind the head. That's it. Inhale with the head on the floor. And now, pick the foot, uh, left foot off the floor, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. 
Exhale, lift. Good, keep drawing that right knee wide. Two more, inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Swap sides. Turn the foot to the left. Press that left knee wide. Inhale, head on the floor. Float the right foot up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower, keep that right foot off the floor. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Last one. And lower down. Good. We're going to roll all the way back onto our belly. Good. Starting off with that, coming back to that same core work. It's going to take us up into dolphin pose. <clears throat> Clasp the hands together. Or you can keep the four fingers and the hands down. Whatever feels good. Keep the tops of the toes down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. I'm going to keep my thighs off the floor. Maybe you're going to release your thighs all the way. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Think of cat pose. Here it is. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Tuck the toes under. Stay right here. Rock forwards and backwards. Forearm plank. How's the breath? Remember, at any point, if you need to, just drop the knees to the floor. Dolphin pose. Tiptoe the feet up towards your elbows, the face. Drop the head. Shoulders beyond the elbows. Step the feet together. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Drop the knees to the floor. Child's pose. If you're looking for more, maybe you're going to come back into forearm plank. I know some of you will be. But never think of child's pose as like taking the easy route. Because it's not, you're really just connecting back to the breath. And really the breath work is just as important as the poses themselves. If we're not do, doing Ujjayi breath through the practice, then we're not practicing yoga. Some of us are going to come into forearm plank. Some of us are just going to come straight into dolphin pose. Good. So options. Stay exactly right where you are. Others are going to float the right leg back. Look to the left heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. That's it. This helps with your kick-ups and handstands and all of that. Some of you might want to bring in a little hop-up. That's it. Maybe three little hops. And then change sides. Float the left leg. I like to have the toes pointing down. Look to the right foot. Now lift the shoulder ribs up. Find cat pose. Inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then maybe a three little hops. Now point the toe of the top foot. That's it. One more. And drop the knees to the floor. Inhale, come up. Lift all the way up. Ustrasana. A back bend. Inhale, we're going to bring the hands onto the buttock, squeeze the elbows in. It feels like you'd love them to touch. And now press the buttock flesh down. So we're creating space in your back waist. Press your thighs forward. Imagine you are leaning, uh, there's a wall in front of you. So press the thighs, pubic bones and hips forward. Elbows pressing in towards each other. Inhale here. Exhale here. Good. Tuck your toes under. And we're going to just drop that right hand to the heel. Lift the left arm up. Modified Ustrasana. Inhale, lift. Three cycles of breath. Roll your chin into the left armpit. Keep pressing the hips forward. Good. One more cycle of breath. And inhale, lift up. Drop the left hand back. Right hand lifts. Good, roll the chin into the left arm, put three cycles of breath, inhaling here, exhaling here. Last cycle of breath wherever you are. And inhale, lift. 
exhale, lower, release the feet. Good, just stay here, palms facing up. Just take a moment, close the eyes down and just feel your energy swirling. The back bends bring up a lot of buoyancy in the body. And one more time, inhale, lift up. Some of you are gonna tuck the toes under just because what that does is it, it uh, lifts the heel so you don't have so far to drop back. Set the pose up the same way. Squeeze the elbows in, press the buttock flesh down, hips, pivot, bone, press forward. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, drop the right hand back, and then the left. Maybe you can do them both at the same time. And then lift. Some of you are gonna drop the head back here. Inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, lion's breath. Good, two more. This is a beautiful heart opener. Inhale. Open the mouth. Exhale. Now inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, release the toes. Lowering all the way back. Drop your hips to the side. And we're going to lower all the way down. Heels to the buttock. Bridge pose. So if you're feeling a little fatigued and you want to take um, a more of a restorative approach to the back bend. If you've got a block or a book or a pillow, just bend the knees, feet come back, and I like to be able to graze the back of my feet with my fingertips. Press down, inhale, lift the hips, and you can have the block. Level one, level two, level three, or stack two blocks together, roll the shoulders under. For the rest of us, we're taking bridge pose, some of you are gonna clasp the hands and clasp the hands on the mat. Others are gonna clasp the hands together. Stay wherever you are and just look straight up in the air. If you're looking for a little bit more, lift the left, uh, right leg up, turn the foot to the right and then just cross that right ankle over the left thigh. Keep lifting that left, sorry, that right hip higher, pressing down through the backs of the arms. And again, this is just an option. One more cycle of breath here. Squeeze the buttocks together. Inhale, lift. Place the right foot down. You can reset, coming up or down in between. Others are going to lift up. Turn the foot to the left. Cross that left ankle over. Now lift up. Lift the left hip high. Breathing into your big, beautiful heart. Notice the jaw, whether the teeth are clenching, quality of the breath. Inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, feet together. Lower all the way down. Good. Take a full body stretch. Arms up and over the head. And a big sigh out. Good. Bring the arms into cactus or T-shape. We're going to take a twist here. That's it. Inhale, draw the knees. I'm just bend the knees. Cross the right knee all the way over the left. Like you're having a cup of tea. And then shuffle your hips over to the right. Inhale, knees to the chest. Exhale, drop both knees over to the left. Inhale, look to the right. I always get like a, a little adjustment here. I always seem to get a nice little click in the spine. And really, that's what the twists do. They neutralize the spine after the back bends and they strengthen and lengthen your spine. They're also wonderful for detoxification and digestion. There's so many wonderful benefits to twists. They really just massaging all the organs and oxygenating the blood and your muscles. Good, inhale, come back to center. Place the foot on the floor. Good, happy baby in between. Just notice how the body feels now to how it felt, you know, nearly an hour ago. That's it. Place the feet on the floor. Cross the left leg over the right. Shuffle the hips to the left. Inhale, knees to the chest. Drop the knees all the way over. Good, and just stay here, let it simmer, and just Observe. This is what the practice is. It's just a practice of observing, observing, observing how the body feels. Left side to right side, you know, 
we're much stronger. One side of the body always uh, dominates, it's much stronger. So it's just paying attention. And this is just where you notice the shifts and where the practice evolves, the more you tune in. It's a practice from the inside out. Inhale, lift the knees back to center. And pause and unravel the legs. We're just going to rock ourselves forwards and backwards, lifting ourselves maybe four or five times, just massaging the spine, releasing, massaging every vertebrae, lifting yourself all the way up. Good. Place both hands underneath your right knee. Inhale, bend. Slide the hand down. Thigh. Inside of the foot meets the thigh, inside of the thigh, hands on the ribs, steer the ribs over the straight leg, inhale, lift, exhale, forward fold. So this feels like a seated tree pose. It's actually called Janu Shasana. Energetically, you're pressing the crown of the head towards your big toe, and then there's this lovely, subtle twist, and you're spinning your right ribs to your left thigh towards the knee. And imagine my hand was resting on your right thigh, pressing it down, just giving you a nice little adjustment. But you want it to feel like there's a sandbag resting on your right thigh. There's a nice lifting of the back ribs up. Inhale. Exhale, fully surrender down. Good. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale, lift up. Walking the hands back, put the hand underneath the right knee, lift it up, and extend both legs straight. We'll just do the other side. Both hands underneath the left knee, inhale, slide the hand down. It's really the same way that I come into tree pose when I'm standing. Hands on the ribs, steer the ribs in line with your right thigh, both arms up, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now, if you can't catch the foot, just land your hands wherever they land. And some of you are going to bend the knee to take the tension out of the hamstring. So just meet yourself wherever you're at. And also, you can put a strap or a towel, and maybe you're going to stay upright. If you're tight through the hips and, the, and your lower back, that's it. And then you're going to find that subtle twist. So we're pressing that left thigh down, but spinning now, those lovely right ribs, spinning them round to the right thigh, and then activate through the crown of the head like you'd love to touch your big toe. Inhale, exhale here. Two more cycles of breath, wherever you are. And never get caught up on the way the pose looks from the outside. I really encourage you to close your eyes and go in and notice how it feels from the inside out. Inhale, lift the chest, and then walk the hands back. Place your hand underneath your left knee, inhale, and extend both legs straight. Paschimottanasana, roll the inner thighs. This is a physical forward, physical turn in, like you're folding the body in towards each other. Inhale, lift up. So when we lift the arms up, we're creating space in the waist by lifting the ribs up and away from the hips. Inhale, lift up. And again, you can bend the knees here, forward fold and bow, snuggling the chest onto the thighs. And then maybe over time, you start to lengthen the legs. And again, you can sit upright with a strap or a towel, but just stay here, bow the chin to the chest wherever you are. Lift the back ribs up, inhale, forward fold and bow, exhale. Rolling the inner thighs down. And you're pressing your shin bones down into your calf muscles, your thigh bones down into your hamstrings, and then lengthening the crown of the head all the way from your tailbone through the spine towards the feet. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale here. Start to walk the hands back. Getting ready for the most important pose of all. Shavasana, so I like to bend the knees. Now if you um, suffer with um, a sensitive lower back, you're going to keep the knees bent, lower all the way down. 
So if you have a sensitive lower back, you're going to keep the knees bent, dropping the knees in towards each other. Otherwise, extend the legs out straight. Good. Roll the shoulders under. There's a nice little subtle um, lift in the heart space here. So there's a rolling of the shoulders under. And I like to have my palms facing up so I'm in a position of receiving. Some people like to rest their hands on their lower belly. And that feels really good too. So just play with something new if you've never tried it before. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And a big sigh out. I encourage you to stay here for, a, you know, two to five minutes, even longer. But I'm going to close out so you can drop into your Shavasana by just bringing my hands to prayer at the forehead. 